Hey guys, Dan here with Vittertech. I recently released a video about creating your own widgets with Widgie. The app lets you create your own totally customized widget, but what if that's a little too advanced? What if you do want a customized widget, but without needing to put in all of the design work? Today I'm showing you two new apps that do just that, and that's One Widget and Widget Wizard. Let's get into it. So both of these apps are going to give you pre-selected widgets based on the data on your phone. They're a great use of iOS 14 widget capabilities, and in my experience they work great. So first up we've got Widget Wizard. You're going to open the app and enable permissions for it to access the data on your phone. And from there it's really just going to work. The first tab pulls in your agenda, which is a combination of all of your calendar events as well as your reminders. The health tab pulls in all of your activity stats from the health app. And then in the settings tab, you get to your customization, like changing the color of the widgets, changing the measurement units that are displayed, and then your calendar account selection. So once you have those things customized to your liking, you really don't need to touch the app again. Now you can simply go to your widget tray and select your widget. And now in terms of the widgets offered, there's a bunch of different ranges in terms of size, as well as the amount of features that you can put into each widget. That's going to vary from one feature, two features, to three features. So here I'm going to drop in the three feature widget. You'll see it selected some features for me, but if you tap on the widget then you can customize the activities that are showing. So just with a couple of taps you're able to select a very customized widget showing off a bunch of information from across your phone. So the next app I want to show you is One Widget. So right away diving into the app, you can see it is beautifully designed. Here you're going to get a view of all of the available widgets. And again, in the same case as Widget Wizard, once you open the app the first time, you're not really going to need to go back to it. So on the home screen, you're going to see all of the available widgets. And by tapping on one of the widgets, you can see all of its available sizes. And there are a lot of options here. The preview tab lets you search by size or by name. And then on the settings side, the only thing that you're really going to change here is the app icon. And again, being that you're not going to need to access this app very often, I don't know how many people are going to use this feature. So again, diving into that widget tray, you're going to see an option for one widget. If you click on that, you're going to see varying sizes again with the option of including one select feature or two. Once you've selected the right size and configuration for you, you can drop it onto your home screen. And by tapping on that widget, you're now going to be able to customize exactly what features are put into that widget. So both of these apps allow you to build your own custom widgets without getting too complex into the design of it. Widget Wizard is out on the App Store right now and it costs $279. One widget is not available yet, but it'll be launching this Friday on September 25th. So let me know what you guys think. Would you use one of these widgets that I've highlighted today, or are you using a different app to make customized widgets that I didn't mention? Let me know that in the comments below. As well, hit that subscribe button to see more from me. And as always, hit that like button. It tells YouTube that this video doesn't suck. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.